Hi beautiful Gemini, how are you? If you're new, how welcome, my name is Michelle And today we are going with your reading Before I start, I want to remind you guys That my readings have no date They are divinely guided, everything has free will Not everything is going to resonate with everybody Please keep in mind that the energies can be inverted And with this said, my loves, let's move forward How are you guys? <clears throat> I've been so busy lately also don't forget to check out my spotify i should be posting a video tonight i mean a podcast tonight <clears throat> so we're gonna go with justice in the reverse by the way we got the star the ace of pentacles the magician and overall energy we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom we have the ten of pen um ten of cups in reverse so we got Libra, Aquarius, we got a lot of Earth, which is towards Capricorn, and of course, we got your energy. So, in Leo, Aries, I forgot if I said that. So, I feel like some of you could feel like you are not doing enough. You could be a stay-at-home mom, or you could feel like I should be here, here in life. This could be just personal, let's just critical, you could be critical over yourself. I do feel like you are doing just fine. I feel like you're doing enough. I feel like if it's somebody making you feel unworthy or if they're trying to make you believe you're not doing enough, that's totally BS. I do see that you're doing enough. This is somebody that also I feel like you could be just a stay-at-home person, but you're helping in the house. And if you are a stay-at-home um, mom, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, um, somebody that could have lost their job, you're doing just fine i feel like life it's been super difficult and i feel like it's quite impossible sometimes to achieve multiple things and is because the process and is because life in general they want you to know that whatever you're going through is going to pass is going to get better it could be a slow process though but it'll be there but you need to be kinder to yourself because you're just punishing yourself. You're literally punishing yourself for something that you don't have fault in. And that I don't see you being lazy. I see you being a person who tries and that either or you put yourself down. Other people could do that too, unfortunately. And once again, you're just doing what you can. I do see that balance is not where you want it to be. I do see that there's a lack of faith in your energies a bit and I feel like you also need to work on manifesting what you want not what you think you deserve why I do see that you put yourself sometimes in positions or in lights because you feel like you're less of a person than what you really are. For example, if I were to tell you to rate you from 1 to 9, you're going to give yourself a 3. When you should be giving yourself a 10. Do you know what I'm saying? I do feel like the universe is going to be giving you what you need. That money, that job, that gift. I do feel like the universe is going to be giving you a gift. You are soon to experience a miracle, but also you're going to be given a gift. It's like physical. It's life changing. The wheel of fortune is on your side. Things are going to be shifting to your favor. Things are going to be shifting to your to your favor. You got to say, I'm a magnet of positivity. I'm a magnet of abundance. I have it. That's pretty much what you got to continue saying to yourself. I do see that some people in your family don't support you and they're not kind to you. And unfortunately, that's something that not to accept it, but you have to understand that some people are just like that. That being blood related doesn't always mean loyalty for some people. And keep in mind that the same way they treat you, you could do back because this is pretty much karma. Can we clarify? Thank you. Yeah, they don't support your dreams. You can like ballet, you could be a dancer, or in general, you they just don't support you. Because honestly, life should be should be easier with family because family is supposed to be your village. But at this point, I see that your village is yourself. And that's why life it's harder to achieve things because you're doing it on your own because you don't have a reliable uh, team or a reliable family or so and often you could feel trapped 
but they are impl uh, they're asking you the universe it's like please Gemini don't give up because we are pushing you towards this mountain and you are about to hit the top and we're gonna give you everything you wanted I do see you relocating yourself I do see you changing locations I do see moving I do see moving forward i do see you on your own in that sense and this could be just a symbolism of you making it without any help and i do see you in a f financial state that's good and i do see you traveling this could be business or pleasure either or but to have that opportunity to choose what kind of trip you want to do it means that you're going to do better i want you to know to leave behind those people or those words that were said to you that were not the kindness and to not take that as a tattoo because at the end of the day they're promising you that they are shaping you the universe is shaping you to make you the winner you are and you are self-made and that's something nobody can take from you maybe you're not running but you're walking even if you feel you're crawling sometimes the fact is that there's always some sort of movement it's not about the speed. It's about the consistency. You have the universe on your side. You got angels. You got guardians. You got ancestors. You have so much on your side helping you, guiding you, hyping you up. They care for you. They believe in you. You need to do the same. You have a deep connection with the spiritual world. It's like in between. You need to start number one. Listen to your intuition. Some of you could be waking up at one to five in the morning. Utilize the time if you feel you can't dream or can't sleep. Use it to manifest, to talk to the universe. Because I do feel like you're a, you're in, in a you think you're in an awakening. You're like in a going through a spiritual awakening. Another one perhaps. And in this one, they're teaching you that I feel like you don't see success where they should be. It's like sometimes you're like, yeah, I achieved this, but I don't see it as success. And I feel like maybe some of you, since you were a kid, subconsciously, uh, they, it's like people around you were not celebrating you the way they should have. Like they would never celebrate your achievements unless they thought it was achievements. For example, if you had a B plus, they wanted an A plus. So they wouldn't celebrate that because they wanted an A plus. So this is who you became. It's like if you don't achieve exactly what you wanted, even if you are getting there and they could be some sort of like short achievements or small achievements you don't celebrate them <sighs> and i do feel like you have this energy of like i want to stand out not because i want to be the center of attention but because i want to be appreciated it's like you feel sometimes at times it seems like by the cards you could feel sometimes that Your value depends on certain achievements, and that's not it. The card saying that you are so worthy, that you're amazing, that you are all these good things, but you don't see it like that, Gemini. And I do feel that those connections that you could have lost touch with, they're nothing to mourn, nothing to cry about, because they were not on your best interest. the page of sorts you're going to be giving tools information opportunity to make decisions to start over to start new to start fresh but you need to not only take advantage of those believe that you're worthy and have a better perspective so you can work on them in the best light possible don't mourn and cry over past connections or past bridges that got burned by third people you're not responsible to reconnect those bridges you did not burn by the way for a long time you've been carrying unnecessary weight that did not belong to you entirely and it's time to light up lighten up a little bit you are ready for this change i also see snoop dogg i don't know why but 
you are ready for this change and even though it's going to be chaotic and you're going to be like i always wanted it when i was ready that's an excuse to never go for it so the universe is going to do it for you it could be chaotic but it's needed and it's going to be quick giving you unexpected abundance not only in money but in my in in love and relationships you're not obligated to accept cups are halfway you're not obligated and the universe is not only going to help you find the right people but also the right resources the universe is helping you because they find you worthy of that of these blessings so it's an awakening trust the process you're not stopped you are moving it's just like the speed is something you don't need to focus and the universe may be testing your patience as well in your faith so so with this deck we're gonna take a look how long it could take right let's see if they provide us some answers um as a bonus keep in mind that this is an estimate for some of you anything is possible that's blank stop wrong so anything is possible stopping is wrong unknown no maybe yes <laughs> not the right time of course and ask again again any timing right yes and up to three months and soon so some of you are gonna experience this in different timings like i said this being generous not for one person um is for many and i know i said this before but i gotta be very clear because some people just seem to just not understand that let me see what messages these cards have for you these are archangel messages so let's see if we can get you a card 1919 and this says uh, cycles karma warning judgment influence power cycles changes rebirth karma will be paying you a visit release the need to control because you cannot force things learn your lessons so they don't repeat in the future make some space for new experiences and then 0303 and it says taking chances success knowledge friendship impatience <laughs> freedom and optimism when changes present themselves, seize them and do some uh, something out of the ordinary, whether in your professional or personal life. You will find success by welcoming cre creative impulses and having faith in your own abilities. Trust in chance and take risks and on opportunities that could change your life for the better. So, babes, this is the end of your reading. I hope you liked it. If not, I'm sorry. I also want to encourage you, by the way, to not only like and subscribe, but also follow me outside of here. I am on uh, Spotify. I do uh, episodes on, you know, spiritual topics in English and Spanish. I am on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, I'm everywhere, to be honest. I also offer personal readings. All the links are always going to be in the description box below. Thank you so very much, and you have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.